All right, I've been live for a whole minute. Good evening, ladles and gentle spoons. Uh, Guitar Bard here with my stalwart companion, Shagrazir. Hello. And we are back with Fight for the Living, our charity stream campaign uh, in aid of Ukraine. Um, I'd like to give a special shout out to uh, Siona, Days Blackheart, uh, Yeo, and all the other members of London 2038, whose project allows the two of us to actually play in the same game. And yeah. like, join a party. Party oop. Yep. There we go. Um, Just trying to type in my obnoxiously long password. <laughs> I told I told both uh, him and Shagrazir this. So on the Thursday stream, he was um, dropping little uh, tidbits of lore from the books. And uh, I'm like, I was really curious. I'm like, hmm, 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 let me, let me go uh, check that out. So I figured, you know, it's 1130-ish. You know, what I'd do is I'd read maybe one or two chapters and suddenly it's 4 a.m. and I finished the book. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you did. And now my dumb ass, I'm willing to bet you money that after the stream tonight, my dumb ass is going to say, maybe let me read a couple of chapters of book two and then boom, it's going to be 4 a.m. and my coworker is going to be, because I said to my coworker on Friday, I'm like, I've made a grave error. And she's like, oh no, I completely understand what you do with books. Um, Big error. Of course, now I have to remember that I changed the buttons and remember what I changed the buttons to. Because when you play the same game and the same class over and over and over again for multiple years, you tend to um, have a very specific quick bar loadout that you've kind of developed over time. So, like, like there have been times that I've been playing Neverwinter Nights and I'll literally be like, hold on, I've got to stop and... Um, organize my hot bar exactly the way I need it to be because I literally have muscle memory uh, built in from using the same quick bar loadout over and over and over again. I've got muscle memory for a couple things. There's like, I stuck the um, personal location device, uh, mm -hmm. uh, the PRD over on 10. Oh yeah. Zero. Le like I have health on Q and pow, like the, the health shots on Q and the power booster shots things the power e. the packs on E because they're the closest to W so it makes the most gotcha. sense there uh, uh, zero yeah. in any game I play the very last button on the quick bar whether it's zero or hyphen or equals is always my recall if there is one gotcha yeah, that's, that's zero for me. It's it's my equivalent my... of the enemy gate is down. It was all the, yeah. We we're basically putting the oracle back together, the pieces of the body. Yeah, I'm sure that's a good idea. Yeah, totally. It'll it's be not totally gonna. Fine. It's not gonna backfire in any oh, disastrous yeah, no. way at all. Why would that bite us in the ass? We're putting we yeah all like all this trouble to taking them apart, putting them together. Is yeah, putting it together. Is. Yeah, totally. Especially after you read in in book one about how su how fucking dumb some of the cabalists are, like sweet Jesus on a pogo stick. It's like at one point, like the one of the demons says something is like foolish creatures, uh, touching, uh, grasping at powers that of, that of which they have no comprehension. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, wow, uh, that'll actually agree with you on. Granted, I feel like by the time Hellgate London rolls around, uh, like the year 2038, I feel like in the 18 years since, they seem, emphasis on seem, to have uh, at least, whoop, wrong, um, to have learned a weedle weedle. So you have a nice model. Thank y'all. Oh, are you still in Death City? Uh, should I not be? I was. Uh, I was. Are you on the way back? Mar oh, he said. He I says meant. I meant the weapon, but sure. <laughs> I thought he was talking about my butt. No, he's talking about the ass rack. Oh yeah. D Days and Sayona. I think you. Mi no. So, yeah, I remember because Sayona had left by that point because he had to get some sleep. So he picked up the SRAC. 
and he's he, he's muttering to himself, unidentified S rack. And I'm like, did you say unidentified ass rack? And I've not, and we've, well, I say I. We're, we're total adults. We've not been able to call it anything else since. That gun is an ass rack. It's an ass. It's know. an ass rack. That's a pretty solid English. Thank you. I have a very, um, I don't know how to describe it. For some reason, I have a very lyrical ear, and I just pick it up, pick these things up. I've always been something of a mimic. Like, I only lived in Ireland for four years, and I developed this weird sort of hybrid accent that just starts, like, literally you put me next to someone with a, an Irish accent for five minutes, two minutes if they're from Cork, and it all comes roaring back. It's hysterical. This is totally going to get infected, sir. Nor have I ever seen a particularly chatty giraffe. I'm just saying. Lovely, sir. Just lovely. Tell me, does, it pro does that process involve smashing my knees or maybe poking the old crotch with something sharp? Submerge you in the cauldron of eternal happiness. Coming from you, that sounds like another name for spike hole. I've got a Kentish accent when I go English. Thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. I can go really posh London if I try. Um, it's definitely easier if I have something to read from because then my brain just has that extra split second to think about. Oh, and I have to Martha Stewart my inventory already. <laughs> yeah, Martha Stewart. Ooh. Oop. Uh, down here. Hey. Oh, that's not an ass rack. That's not an ass rack. That's not an ass rack. That's no ass rack. If you're gonna equip an ass rack, be, got, be sure to equip, uh, rack both asses. What was teaching me is like, you know, you put the curse on them, drop a hellfire. Whoosh. Hellfire. Dark fire. Such a great song until you pay attention to the lyrics and it's like, <laughs> um. Hey, look, he just wants to own people okay he wants that... he wants them to be property so fun fact that's tony J, who was also in lois and clark and he was the transcendent one in planescape torment uh, and very gently in storage sure, that ooh, oh, in the storage. very gent. you know when you collect something really nice and you like really like it and you like gently and like gingerly put it down and just like no just me <laughs> Are you not a collector of things? I am not. I hate having things. Like, stuff, um, gives me anxiety. <laughs> I, I have, I, I have, like, I own a computer and a TV and a bed. Wow, he's a nice. Okay. Five damn stars. You do you, fam. <laughs> No, I am a minimalist. All my friends are maximalists. Hey, clearly. <laughs> oh, f now I have to f work again. Uh, <laughs> need more places to hide my mods. <laughs> oh my god, the way they just said the oh beep. Now I have to pipping work again. That's some some bullshit. <laughs> oh, I love math is hard. Let's shop. I'll be seriously anticipating your next visit to my bullshit. But I'm an engineer, so it's fine. <laughs> oh, I love him! This guy's hysterical! <laughs> what the sh** do we have here? Come again soon if you're not killed by the faulty sh** I sold you! <laughs> Come again soon if you're not killed by the faulty sh** I sold you! <laughs> This is so since this game uh, doesn't start yelling at us every hour that we've been playing for to too long. Your... <laughs> uh, Forget to do your little pitch. My, my little pitch, yes. So this is Fight for the Living. We are streaming Hellgate London um, as uh, part of a way to raise money in aid of Ukraine. I meant to say earlier, I, in my earlier streams and in some of the descriptions, have been saying the Ukraine instead of just Ukraine. I didn't realize that the preferred herbage was just Ukraine, just so Ukraine. yeah, I that was my ignorance. I'm sorry. I'm editing where I can and apologizing for what I can. I remember my dad was telling me about 
his dad, my granddad, in World War II. And um, he said that originally my granddad didn't really want to fight, didn't really want to shoot anybody, didn't really want to do any of that. But that the first time he saw what happened at a concentration camp, he said that was that his dad told him that was the first time that he genuinely wished ill on others and that he genuinely wanted to pick up a firearm and go. Yeah. And I'm not going to lie, seeing the pictures of the crimes that were committed there, I honestly, for a moment, for a hot-blooded, angry moment, felt very similarly. Like, you know, I just wanted to sign up and go. Yeah. The most important thing to remember in times like this, absolutely fight for what you believe in. Remember the dead. Fight for the living. Never, ever do it at the expense of your own humanity. That's what I'll say on that subject. We must not become the monsters we fight. I agree. I mean, it's definitely a hard thing to... Well, I mean, especially given how cool you look with the skull face. <laughs> it's true, it's true. And uh, it, it's definitely, I know the first instinct is to be vengeful, but um, we must not become the monsters we fight. Yeah. Now, now, now that I've just given this very poignant speech on not becoming the monsters of fight, back to your regularly scheduled massacring of demons. <laughs> I've just realized you're running this on a low setting. To, dude, my rig is a decade old. Although it's funny because um, a friend of mine who who's, like sells games and stuff was doing a sale tonight, and I was not allowed consoles growing up. So while I was familiar with the the NES, the SNES. Yeah, I, I, I annoy the hell out of my friend's kid by purposely calling it the SNES, just to piss him off. Uh, I mean, the that S piss him off. It's called the SNES. Thank you. That's what I That's said, what too. Called. That's what I told him. That's what I told him. He didn't wrong. believe me. He didn't believe me. No, he's definitely wrong. It's called the SNES. I was going to say, like, I, 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 you know, wanted to tell him, you know, this thing came out long before you were born. Um, it's, either, it's either a SNES or a Super NES, and those are the only two I'll accept. Yeah. Um, anyway, so, so like he's selling all these games and I'm like, I was not allowed consoles as a child. So it's really fun listening to you talk about these games that I know jack shit about. Okay. AT, AT, AT is an AT, AT people yeah, who call people definitely. who call it at, at drive me insane. They're wrong. They're wrong. People who call it at, at, are wrong. The people that call it at, at also call the other one at. Yeah. If you call it an at, at, you're wrong. It's an AT. -AT. I got left behind in the dangerous sewers by my good friend. Why are you still there? <laughs> I guess I was fucking dealing with items again. Yes, ma'am. I'll be around. My best friend just likes to let me die. Would you like me to go back there and help you even though you shouldn't be there? I'm here. I've already. Okay. So what made you choose Hellgate to stream? So it's funny you ask that because Bill Roper tweeting the retweet about what he said about it keeping in line with the lore of the game that is part of the reason i chose hellgate london was because of the lore of the game and what it represented so um as i said in the first stream i did hellgate london is simultaneously the bleakest yet most hopeful game i'd have ever played it's literally the last surviving remnants of humanity in london they're faced against seemingly impossible odds outnumbered overpowered they're they're fighting literal demons and like the you know the the final stand of the templars at saint paul's like in the opening cinematic that they, they were killed to a man uh and it was all to buy time and they knew it would and it was literally all to buy time but what's important is that despite these seemingly impossible odds with the last remnants of humanity going up against a literal horde of demons and actual hell it is still possible to win and the situation in Ukraine right now, you're seeing people who are fighting back. And yeah, there have been setbacks and there have been terrible things happening there. And there has been a lot of lives lost. But at the same time, they're holding their own. They're really holding their own there. And fair play to them. And you know they're going to keep holding it. And 
bless them all. And I'm just, you know, it's, and then you even see the people all over the world who, and yeah, there have been some assholes, mostly here in the States. Um, but, you know, you've got people doing what they can, where they can, people who, you know, who are helping in ways that's more than just fighting. You know, people who, you know, donating supplies, donating money, donating time. We're here doing, my thought was to do a charity stream. You've got creators who are doing paintings or holding concerts. And, you know, the proceeds are going to the different charities. So it's very much, and Hellgate London is very much a story of people coming together under impossible odds to do the impossible and succeed. So while it's a very bleak game... Uh, in terms of where it's set and the story going on, it is ultimately hopeful. And I really do like the message, remember the dead, fight for the living. So that is why I chose Hellgate London. And it has a lot of special meaning to me personally. Um, I've told the story a couple of times of how the first time I walked into London, I felt like I'd already been there because I had played the game. So I, w I did go on a small Hellgate. Oh, man. I so... The first time I went into London, I, I, it was Covent Garden that I walked, and because you know you played the game, the beginning of the game enough times, you remember the beginning areas. The first time I walked into Covent Garden Market, I was like, "What the actual?" Like I was blown away because it was like shot for shot exactly like Hellgate London. I felt, I literally felt like I'd been there before, uh, even though I had never. This was my first time in London. I never. Um, never set foot in there in the city in my life it was my first time in England and I just remember being blown away because it looked exactly like Hellgate London on that same trip I went to St. Paul's Cathedral and went to the uh, to the back of the cathedral and found the most likely place for the Hellgate like where the Hellgate erupted um and it's pretty on point too so then um when you say that, you mean the original Hell Rift in the The original Hell Rift, the yeah, in the beginning of the game. Yeah. The, and we yeah. get back to that later. It's the main Hellgate behind St. Paul's. So, yeah, and then I was living in Ireland at the time, so you could just hop over to London. And then so uh, when I was in London on spring break, uh, I took one day to go on what I called the Hellgate Hunt. I actually have the map nearby. Hellgate so, hunt. yeah, I have, like, crossed off on this map, like, all the areas that I was able to hit on the Hellgate hunt. I hit like all the tube stations that I could, all the real world locations that I could, that actually existed. Um, yeah, it was fun, it was fun. Uh, well, I found Lord Cocksack or whatever. Lord what? Uh, Lord Cruzack, excuse me. Oh, he's, he's shaking off his dandruff at me. But because I do the physical field, uh, it, it dies before it gets to attack. I'm me. I'm over here just slaughtering all the enemies that you decided to skip because you just dropped just down the. Yeah, no, you decided to skip. You just you claim that you fell, bro. You totally uh, just jumped down the middle. <laughs> you could have followed me down the middle. No, no, no. Before we go in any further, I want Shaq to tell me more about Lord Cox. <laughs> It was a big monster, like a big uh, hell meat, and now he's two smaller hell meats, and they definitely don't resemble testicles. <laughs> but if it's two smaller hell meats. They're both called Lord Crusack. No, 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 Lord Cocksack. Yeah, Lord Cocksack, Lord Cock and Balls, Lord help me. <laughs> Lord help me. <laughs> oh, shag. Uh, heal yourself, bro. What Hang on, you, let me hit heal. Sorry. I hit heal too. Uh, it looks like it heals both of us actually. Oh, there's a hell rift over here too. I think I was getting damaged by that uh, tornado and didn't realize. The fog, it. yeah, it's the chocolate fog. Get out of the fart bubble, Siona says. Sorry, I thought it was yours. I didn't see it hurting me. Hang on, I gotta jump hit this thing. Where's my jump button now? Fuck, 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 fuck. Move, you guys fucking with me. Whoa, I love the design on this thing. This guy's lit. I would totally make a vector graphic logo out of his face. Skull? The, the, with the weird eyes and the things and the, it's very cool. Mm. I think they have six of them. 
Yeah. Yeah, when I see pretty designs, I like to make vector graphics out of them. I'm secretly pushing the idea to rename Anthro into Pinky. Uh, Pinky and the Brain, 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 Brain. Please no, do it. It's a Doom reference. Do it! Pinky and the Brain? You're literally fighting Pinky and then the Brain if he changes yes. the name. I see, yes, yes, yes. I thought it was a Doom reference. It could be both. Por que no los dos? It could be, it could be both. Alright, All right. here, I'll pull aggro. Yep. I'm just Come at me, mark. bitch! I've got a lovely bunch of fancy boys. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Here they are, standing in into blood. One, two, three! Big, Big one, one, small one. one. Some as big as your head. I'm bigger. Whoop. Oh god. I'm on him. Give him a shot, a twitch of the finger. That is what he said. <laughs> I see you, f uh, fucker. For Kira Skyler! Oh boy. Ha, you saw what I just did to those fucking Felbors. Oh yeah, I helped with it. You did. The damaging floor definitely was good. Oh uh, yeah, I like my. Done. Holy crap! I yeah. like my boss fight loadout. I like my boss fight loadout very much. It's slow attack speed, big damage. Yeah, well, there's more shit. I see them. They can come at me. Okay. You just stay back there and shoot. Oh, uh, there's a there's a bunch of these fuckers over here. Uh, do you need a hand? I'm kind of fighting a Vortex Goliath. No, I see that you're fighting a Vortex Goliath. Which means that I might not be able to... Uh, I'm also fighting a Dark Seraph, they... but that's okay. You're fighting two Dark Seraphs, actually. Am I? Okay, that's good to no, know. No, okay, they hadn't come and found Not me. anymore, ain't! Eh? Somebody dropped $20! Simon dropped $20! Simon, nice. thank you so much. Simon, that's very sweet. Thank you very much for contributing to the cause. Simon, that was very, very sweet of you. Thank you so, so much. You're right. The health and hygiene kit does go a long way. Thank you, Simon. That was very sweet. <laughs> yes, this is this is where this is where it gets to him like uh um <laughs> So it's like, uh, like, like the, the, the thing talks through <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. Um, this, I always thought this was one of the funniest parts of the game, where it's just like he's randomly talking very calmly, and all of a sudden the demon takes over. And... Oh my, I think I need to use the privy. Of desecration. <laughs> oh, what? I'm not <laughs> the line. He's like, "Oh my, I think I need to use the privy of desecration." <laughs> I just desecrate the privy. That's what I do. I have uh, way too much fun. Or not a radiation symbol, a biohazard symbol. Excuse me. I have a spectral and a gun and a lightning bolt. Oh, we just got another donation. Twenty. We bucks. did. Yep. Dude, hope this. Ha Thank oh. You. Thank you! Thank you, dude! Oh, that was very sweet. Thanks, bro. Dude, who- I was gonna say, it just says dude. Thank you, still dude. I'm in the link. I'm still putting in the link. Very, very sweet. Yep. Medium power pack. This is a dead end. Look at us go. Thank you, seriously. To Simon, yeah. to dude, to everyone who's donated. This this really helps. It's, it's true. So. That's why we do it. It is why we do it. <laughs> hey, sin. Bless me, Father, for I have. Bless me, Father, for I'm about to. <laughs> for I'm about to! <laughs> nope, yes. you're not in Downing Street either. Nope, I'm at the Millennium Battle. Did you do something silly? Yes, I did! Why did you do it? Leroy Jenkins! I love how into this game you've gotten. I absolutely love it. I just, I am so delighted that you are this into one of my most favorite games of all time. I... Well, I have to be good. I have to make cool things. I have to look sexy. 